Good morning and g'day mate. Welcome back to Dyson Sphere with, of course, me, Jenny, and the wonderful Mr. Icarus. And today, today we're continuing our quest to make Particle Broadband. Um, last episode, last episode, we went and made some carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes, quite easy, sort of. Uh, first off, we, to make a carbon nanotube, you need to have graphene and you need to have titanium ingots. Or... You can use the rare resource, uh, the rare resource, which I can't even bring up, which I'm sort of frustrated about. Uh, you can bring in the rare resource here. Uh, good old spinniform. Spinniform. Now, spinniform is a pain to get. Um, it generally appears on water worlds, and water worlds require a lot of soil pile to, like, raise the seas up, literally, uh, to then mine the spinniform. So, what I chose to do, because I want to make these blueprints available to you guys and like as easy for you guys to access and use as possible is we instead chose to bring in uh fire ice good old fire ice convert fire ice to graphene along with having a bit of uh, hydrogen as a byproduct take the hydrogen dump that into the tower the tower will get rid of it hopefully well generally in your universe you have a shortage of hydrogen it gets moved into de into deuterium it gets burnt it does, does lots of things so uh should get rid of uh the hydrogen on top of that uh we've then taken our new graphene brought over here added some titanium to it and made some carbon nanotubes this build here is making one belt of carbon nanotubes per second 30 per second uh, as always these blueprints are available on my discord if you want to grab them the second thing we managed to squeeze out last episode was also a build to make refined oil because we're going to need refined oil to make plastic um literally it's the only resource in the game that needs needs refined oil in the late game uh you do early on need it to make you know organic crystals and you also need some to make uh sulfuric acid but as you get to late game sulfuric acid you just put some pumps in a sulfuric acid pond you get water pumps they're, they're called water pumps uh yeah water pumps into a sulfuric acid pond mine up the drink up slurp up pump up pump up the sulfuric acid so you don't need refined oil anymore and organic crystal you'll find on a planet to mine so we don't need to worry about organic crystal either so that means uh refined oil where i can't even click on there we go refined oil refined oil literally goes into well plastic that's the only place so uh we still need to make plastic to make particle broadband on top of that we already also need to make the carbon nanotubes we also need to make uh <sighs> silicon crystals yes which we're going to make from fractal silicon now i did just record a whole episode where i made a wonderful blueprint uh making plastic on site making uh crystal silicon on site importing the nanotubes and then forgot i didn't have anywhere to put warpers so we're going to move this tower to one side uh we're going to change this tower up and we're going to be making plastic like a lot of plastic uh because it turns out we don't have nearly have the room in this tower to bring in these two resources we need to bring in just warpers 100 please yep and then we're gonna have to bring in plastic because particle broadband requires three items brought directly into the tower so we're gonna have to pre-process plastic and then after pre-processing plastic that's the point where we'll finally be able to hopefully throw together a very, very quick build to build Particle Broadband. Now, in saying all that, uh, originally I planned for half a belt of Particle Broadband. Now we're going to go for a full belt's worth. So, I need to make plastic. Uh, we're going to need 90 chemical plants to make uh, one whole belt worth of plastic. So, first off, we're going to start with production. Chemical plant. I've got nine. So, we need basically... Uh, actually, no, you can go... Ooh. Okay, so we're going to need a chemical plant. Let's start with a chemical plant right there. Okay. You're going to need three belts. So you're going to need a import belt for material one, uh, input for bleh, material two, output belt. And then we're going to put another chemical plant there. So that's two. And I'm going to want how many? I'm going to want six rows of 15 i think yeah okay so then we're gonna go input input output uh another one there uh, actually let's just copy this we're, we're very much at the point where we can start copying uh 
So that's going to be 15, 30, uh, 45, 60, 75, 60, 75, 90. Yes. Okay. So that's our build there. Uh, we can now move that tower. Now we know where roughly center is going to be. Uh, center should be right about here. Yeah, we can squeeze that all the way up. Okay. So that should be our build. And we're going to need 90 of these guys. I had nine to start with. So I'm only going to need... Uh, First off, I'm going to need a whole bunch of belts, uh, a whole bunch of sorters, and then wherever we keep chemical plants, no, no, that one, uh, I'm going to need 18, uh, 81 of them. Oh, that amount. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, first off, throw some warpers directly in there so I have less in my inventory. So it should be a case. It should be a case of pump, plumb in. Uh, refined oil and graphene and then output uh, same story output uh, refined oil uh, graphite sorry it's graphite not graphene we did graphene um, actually hang on let's try and match these up uh, okay so I want you you to be item number three onto that row and then I want you to be item number two onto that row and then you're going to be the return there we go okay so now they match left to right okay so it should be uh, input input output input input output Okay, and can we copy that? Input, input, output. Input, input, output, yeah. And this side they're reversed. Okay, so this side I'm gonna have to rebuild manually. So that should be uh, output, input, input. Output, input, input. Okay, cool. All right, so with that done, it should be a case of actually, uh, let's let's extend these belts slightly. Uh, there to there to there. There. Ooh. There to there. Yeah, I don't know. I chose to have both the the, 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 the graphene, graphite, graphite uh, at the back. So I, I choose to chose to make the match, but now the belts feel wonky as I place them down. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I want to mirror this or, or just have it identical. Whatever. Uh, we're going to try, we're going we're gonna to first off go, no, won't place. Will you place there? No, because the bottom two are too close. Okay. Okay, so this is one of those problems. If we bring back up build zone, uh, the build mode, because we've moved this far up the planet, uh, those are spaced out further. Maybe they're not. Yeah, they're spaced out further. Uh, because the curvature of the planet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of that. We're going to paste it. We're going to move to here, because I know chemical plants work over there. Uh, we're going to remove everything. Uh, we'll go build things over here instead. Come on, fly, Icarus. I will throw all my abundance of walkers in there a second time. Okay, so now that we can build things closer to one another, we're going to copy those again. We're going to remove those. We're going to paste that. We're going to go that overlaps. Move it back one tile. It now doesn't overlap. We're going to put in a power pole here. And... No. Power pole there. Power pole there and the power pole there. 
Cool. We're going to trim off all those belts. We're going to copy from there to there, maybe? No. Copy from there to there. Paste. Uh, press the minus button so they're attached together. And I want... Uh, that's 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16... Uh, no, hang on. 4... Eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I don't want sixteen, I want fifteen. Conveniently, I don't have the last couple on me, so they're gonna stay white. Uh, we're gonna grab that tool, we're gonna do that, and that, and that, and that. And now I'm unhappy with my power pole, power pole choices. Okay. What to do about power, power poles? Okay, so, so what we're going to do about power poles is I'm going to remove the front row. And then I'm going to put the front row at the end. Yes. We'll see why in just a second. So we need to extend that out. Uh, that out, that, mm, collide, it does not collide, that back, uh, out, uh, out, and back, uh, sorry, back, out, and out, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm happy with that, okay, so we need you to go one more, you to go one more, you to go one more, you as well, and you... And you collide oh, with object. I just copied it. Fine, just place. Okay, uh, I want to just remove belts uh, with that tool. We'll trim that, trim that, and trim that. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, change that back to normal. Land Icarus. Okay, so it means I can trim. Let's just trim all the way back to there. Pick up this tower again and try and squeeze in it as close as possible. Beautiful. Okay, so then we're going to go refine oil, uh, whatever it is, whatever it is. Uh, why did you lose your markers? Oh, because you're an input. Uh, you're an output, which goes to there, which then that disappears, that goes to there, done, done, done. Uh, your input, your output, and your also output. Okay. So after all that mucking around, uh, pick up the warpers for the third time, throw them back in. Put in ships, put in ships. Uh, we're going to set you up for local demand, remote demand, local demand, remote demand. Uh, we're going to max that, min that, max that. Uh, throw a power pole here to hook it into the rest of the network. And funnily enough, like th these are designed to go like between, between planets. Okay, But because we're actually making the refined oil here on this planet, it's all going to get moved with tiny drones. Um, you know, the, the energetic graphite still needs to be, uh, flown in with the larger vessels, um, but the refined oil should be fine, and the graphite just arrived. Okay, so with that now running, you guys should start pumping out a whole bunch of plastic. We can see plastic coming out of this belt, and this belt, and this belt, and they all have their magic blue circle. We don't see any little yellow markers to say machines are not running. Uh, you're not running. No, nope, you're now running. Excellent. Okay, so that is that build done. Wow. Okay. All right, so step one, build number one, which now finally should let us come up here and for the third episode in a row attempt to actually build particle probate actually build it okay okay 
so particle broadband should be a case of no grab grab the tower remove the tower paste the tower okay particle broadband should let us bring in carbon nanotubes from uh this build uh bring in plastic from that build all the way over there and also uh bring in fractal silicon which we're going to bring in from off world uh warpers no i actually have the right amount of warpers in my inventory okay so to build this build i'm gonna need uh <sighs> i'm gonna need uh 30 assemblers making fractal silicon so let's just start let's start with that okay we're gonna need <sighs> fractal silicon we need 30 assemblers uh, to produce two belts worth. Uh, okay, so we're going to have you... We're going to start as far back on this build as possible. You be input. You and you are going to be output because we're going to put another machine on that side of it. Okay. I need 30 machines, so it needs to be... One long down. Okay, and at the same time, let's turn off that so it's not flashing at us. Because uh, I'm willing to bet this particular build will go through a few design flaws and features. Uh, mainly features. Okay, so those two belts are longer because they are the actual output. Alright, then we're going to need a machine to do particle broadband. And we're gonna need. I need 80. I need 100 and. 100 and what? I need 80 machines, which is actually gonna end up. No, I need 160 machines. Wow. Uh, so I need four rows of. 40. That's a lot. Okay. So, that's 15. That's 30. Uh, 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, even in my books, that's a lot. But that's what's required. So, now that we know that, is there a better way, same as we did with the processors, to have some of the build behind the tower? That's 30 machines. And either doing four rows or we're doing rather doing four rows or we're doing eight rows okay so hang on let's start with we know roughly what our length is okay so we'd need a output and then an input we then need a machine then we need an input and an input. Then we need another machine. Then we need an input for the third item. Then an output. And then another machine. And then you already have one input, so you'd need two inputs. And another machine. Then you'd need an input and an output. Okay, and for clarification's sake, uh, that is... That is... One, two... Three, four belts in so far. Because the other one would be the fractal silicon, which would end up... Like, it's already accounted for. It's, it's one belt that becomes two that then gets sorted into this somehow. Um, actually, it sorts in two. So because it sorts in two, it'll be one of these two. Yes, so I actually have one, two, 
three, four, five. So I have five ports currently active. Uh, plus, no, they can all be merged together somehow before they're fed back in. So I'm using six ports, seven ports. I'm already using seven ports of our potentially nine around the tower before I start looking at using the back. Um, okay. All right, so first question first. That is that white. If I doubled the width. Okay, apart from the fact that it goes over a tropic line. So I'd have about that much room to build. Alright, we need to... We need to go somewhere where there's a bit more building space. That's my first thing. So, we're going to come out here, as we do. Uh, drop you... Let's go here, because I'm hoping there's enough building space over here. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of all of this. Do not open that. Copy. Uh, scroll all the way back to here. And pick that up paste it, and paste it roughly there. Okay, so we have input, output. We have input, 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 output, input, 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 output. So then you have input, input, uh, actually I have you slightly off center, so we know that that's our first four. So then you have input, output, then another one, then input, input, and then input, output. Okay, that is doable. It's doable. Okay, so then across the back of this tower. Because we might as well start looking at the back of the tower. Uh, let's trim you guys back. Uh, let's grab a assembler. And let's break some cardinal rules. Let's build up and down the planet. So, that is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. And I'd need uh, 30 machines total. That's 10. 10 is a number I like. 9 is not a number I like. Um, plus I need to get belts in and out. How's 8? How's 5? 5, 30 is 6 rows. Hey! Uh, research. Okay, let's talk about research for a second. Upgrades. Okay, so upgrades is the only thing we have to choose from. Uh, let's look at MechaCore. So MechaCore is 2.4 gigahertz max energy. At the moment, I have 19.9 gigajoules worth of battery. That's this bar here. This bar here does not move because that's a lot of power and it's a lot of battery. It really doesn't get used up all that fast. Uh, communication control. Having three extra drones. I have 30 drones. As you might have noticed, uh, things get built in one hell of a hurry because they also move at 39 meters per second. So, although I want more drones, it's also 98,000 packs for more drones. So we're not going to do any more drones right at the moment. Uh, energy circuit. Energy circuit is how fast our Icarus can recharge. At the moment, he's at 6.4 megawatts. Okay, if we bring up the C menu, uh, it's actually at 38.4 megawatts because we're using antimatter, which has a 500% boost on it. So yeah, I'm not too worried about that research either. Drone engine speed, as I said, um, they already move at 39 meters per second compared to Icarus's poor, pathetic 16 meters per second. So they're way quicker than I am. Uh, drive uh, engine. This is the faster warp speed. At the moment, Icarus uh, warps at 0.45 light years per second. If I do another research here, it adds another 0.05 to my light speed warp speed. The catch is, 
at this speed already, I think I went too far. I, I, at point four, point four was a really good speed. It's about twice what he starts with, maybe a little bit more than twice. But at this speed, I'm having a great, ch great challenge trying to hit planets um, when warping. Yeah, you know, getting between stars is really good, but hitting a planet is difficult. So yeah. Um, Okay, ray transmission efficiency. Um, by the way, this is only 26,000 research, uh, and we're already at 5%. Because it's 26,000, we're going to grab that, like, three times. Because it's cheap, uh, compared to logistics carrier engine. Logistics carrier engine, they, uh, the logistics ships currently fly around, uh, their slow speed is 3,900 meters per second. You've got to remember, Icarus's top speed is 2,000 meters per second. Um... So they're quick boys. They also fly around at 0.33 light years per second. I'm pretty sure they start off at 0.15. Maybe it's 0.21. It, 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 it's a lot slower. Uh, but again, that is 128,000 packs for one research. Uh, finally, we have, have the veins utilization. Currently, our mining speed is 340%, which is two maybe three miners to fill a belt um that is three miners with you know a decent amount of veins they're covering but yeah uh and currently we're only using 22.65 percent of the ore out of the vein to get the ore on the belt so it means like after four and a bit ore pops onto the belt we use one ore out of the vein um so yes but that is 80 000 packs uh in saying that the next closest are uh, 128,000 for that one, 128,000 for that one, and 98,000 for that one. So, uh, we've already picked three of those, we're going to hand three of those as well, and we'll talk about researching, I don't know, in episode or three, when, once that's done. Okay, so, I have one, two, that's a twin, so one, two, Three, four twin belts. Four. Thirty divided by four. Not a good number. Thirty divided by five, because they have one single, two single, three. No, hang on. You've got a belt going either direction. So one, two, three, four, five. Thirty divided by five is a better number. Okay, so if I have, bear with me, we're, we're working things out on the fly. Alright, so if I have, let's line up these machines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you guys are going to be making those. And then, your... Output belt becomes your input belt. It's going to be in our way, but we can iron out where the belts go exactly later. And then six again. And then... Is that correct? No, because you're going to have one pulling off that. You're going to have two rows. Uh, so you're going to have two rows. You'd have two rows. You'd have two rows. You'd have one row. Okay, so it is actually one, two, three. One double, two double, three double, four double. Okay, so four doubles is two halves. And I need two belts worth. So I need 15 machines. Okay. So I need to have two belts worth of crystal crystals. Total. Uh, just like I need two belts worth of nanotubes. And I need uh, one belt worth of plastic. Okay. To get this build to work. And what we need to try and work out is how to make two belts worth behind the tower just just to make our life a little bit easier and the answer is going to be build it and then add splitters okay so i need to have uh 15 machines so one two three four five 
uh, and then five, and then five. Somehow, you guys are going to make that. And then we'll... However you guys work, you'll do the same. And then we'll run it into a splitter and into... One, two. One, two. Okay, so we know for a fact these two are going to get fed from that patch and these two are going to get fed from that patch. So we've worked out something. Okay, uh, we're only making one belt worth of fractals, uh, particle broadband. So I'm going to assume that somehow, somehow, not sure how, somehow we're going to merge it all into this belt and fit it into the middle of the town. Okay, so that means everything else needs to be worked out around that. So we're going to bring out uh, uh, nanotubes. Nanotubes are going to come into there. There. Okay, let's start marking these belts because we're going to have to mark them. Okay, you. We're going to have to actually start joining things together. Okay, so let's do a splitter in that orientation. Okay, so you're a return belt. So we're going to shove you in there. You're a return belt. Uh, so we're going to shove you in there. In saying that, you also need to hook up to another return belt further along so we're going to do that that and that okay you also need to hook into another return belt grab grab the splitter thank you uh, that goes in there that goes in there and that goes in there okay so that's all our nanotubes going back into the tower uh nan nanotubes uh particle broadband going back into the tower uh you can be nanotubes. Okay, I can put another splitter. Can I put a splitter like that? They technically don't connect. I hope. Uh, let's click on that. Well, actually, it doesn't have a little thing here. So, yes, they definitely don't connect. And you have nothing. Okay, so you don't connect. Alright, so we're going to bring out... Fractal silicon there and fractal silicon. Um, crystal silicon there and there. Okay, so we now know that's how that's going to look. You're going to be lack of item. Uh, you're going to be the exact same if I had more items. Splitters are in uh, that one? No. That one? No. That one. No. That one. Yes. Uh, just grab another half a stack. There we go. Uh... Okay, so you are going to go in there, and you are going to go in there. Okay, so, and you're going to get resources in... Actually, probably to make my life easier... Yes, because there's a high chance that... Well, the, there's a definite chance that that belt will have to pass over stuff. So let's have it raised already. And that way you can definitely see that they don't connect. Yes. Okay. So we're, we're making progress. It's slow, but, you know, these black box builds do require... Do require a bit of a thought process to get through how the hell do you hook up this much production all at once. Okay. So, that's that. So then you have access to nanotubes and particle. So that means that one and that one need to be plastic. Now, plastic... I can't pass stuff directly beside a splitter. Do I want to put kink there? No, I don't really want to put kink there. Okay, so we're just going to hook you back up. And plastic, if you were to come out here... Okay, time for an experiment. If I put that down first... Can I then put... No, you now collide.
Okay. I really wish the splitters would have a smaller hitbox. Uh, sorry, wrong direction. Okay, because it means my plastic belt's going to have to zigzag out just a tiny bit to go under there. Okay. And you have to go into here as well, so... Plastic is number three. Which now needs to weave its way into that mess. Um, yes. Yeah, there's, there's not going to be any good ways of doing this. Maybe there is... Can I, I keep pressing spacebar. Uh, maybe there is, after we get it all plugged in, I'll work out a much better way of working out the spaghetti. Okay, so then you need to be a nanotubes into there, and you need to be a plastic into... Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, okay, can I swap those belts? Yes. So we have you be the output belt, which we plug into there, and we have you be the input belt. Okay, so we have plastic, output, nanotubes, crystal. Uh, so then we have nanotubes, crystal, plastic, yep. Uh, plastic, crystal, nanotubes. Plastic, crystal, so that means you have to be nanotubes, which actually goes in neatly. Excellent. There's always a first. Uh, you're going to be a nightmare. Uh, so then, obviously, the next one has to be plastic, which is going to have to go up to there, uh, under there, over that, under that, and then in there. Yay! Uh, which then means... You have to be a nanotube? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What? Okay, what am I missing? Nanotube? Okay, so output plastic nanotube crystal. Uh, output, plastic, crystal, nanotube, you need to be plastic. No, where's my crystal? Ah, crystal, nanotube, yeah, so you have, I, have, I still need to get a plastic line in there. Okay, so the same story, we'll have you go that direction into there, and then I need to get a plastic belt, it turns out out of the rear of this tower, and run it down there. Okay. So, with that done, we still need to get technically only one belt, but we're going to run two uh, of these guys out. And then I need to feed that into 15 machines, merge the whole lot together, and make some crystals. Okay. So, to do that, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, uh, which will have an output belt, which will merge, obviously, into there, uh, which will require an input belt, yeah, they're also going to need another input belt. Uh, they're gonna need... Oh! Oh! Uh... Okay, okay. So what we're gonna do is, rather than, avo rather than playing with splitters, okay, we're gonna have U5 U5 because... Oh, change the recipe. Change the recipe. Let's, let's talk about this recipe. So this recipe is crystal silicon. Crystal silicon requires um, one fractal silicon in, one of these, one of these, uh, one and a half seconds, and then gets two crystal silicon out. Because we have an assembly machine that runs at a crafting speed of 1.5, it actually means every second we get two crystal out. So this is why we only need 15 machines. Uh, yes. 
it also means that the density of the belt doubles. So when I bring in half a belt worth of crystal silicon, it turns into a whole belt worth of fractal silicon. Half a belt of fractal silicon turns into a whole belt of crystal silicon. Yeah, there we go. I got there in eventually. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... No, uh, I was right the first time around. I'm going to run you in, run you around the whole build, and then into here. And then the output belt from here is going to run around the outside and join into there. So now I don't have to try and get a splitter in here somewhere. Uh, can I... Let's move you in closer. Okay, so now I can move you in closer. Does that help me at all? No. Cool. That looks a little bit neater. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go for a input, output, uh, drag. Uh, crap, which one was which? Uh, that's the input, thank you. Uh, input, output. Do not hook into the next machine, hook onto the belt, which is. First off, it's that recipe, and then it's those sorters. And you're going to be a input, output. Drag that up to there. And literally, I need to do the exact same thing on this side. So, uh, let's just get rid of all of those for a second. I uh, already can see that that goes into there. Uh, we go. What is it? Uh, actually, move the whole build to the left. Not that. Nah, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay. Uh, five. And then five, and then a two tile gap, and five, which means uh, input belt goes there, to there, to there, to there, output belt goes there, to there, to there. To there, uh, you're one tile longer than the other one. Uh, shorter than the other one. Uh, okay, let's move that out one tile. Move that out one tile. Get rid of you guys. Uh, there. To there. To there. Okay. So, same story, it's going to be a uh, input, output, and five, uh, and then input, output, output, input, drag that up there, drag that up there. Somehow, no, it's it's the same link. Oh, you had, you came out of time. There we go. Okay. Uh, then we have a little bit of spaghetti, but we'll get back to the spaghetti in a second. So you can move to there. Uh, you're gonna be <sighs> output input input input. Uh, you're gonna be input input. Input, output. You're gonna be output, input, input, input. Uh, we're gonna have input, input, output, input. Oh, that's wrong. Input, 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 uh, output, input, output, input, 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 and then 
uh, input, output. Okay. So, how long do I need to make this? Uh, let's do... I need this to be... Uh, 100 and... No, 20 machines long for each row. Uh, okay, there, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, and to there. I'm sorry. What? Uh, you're going in that direction, and you're going in that direction. You're already happy now? Excellent. Alright, so we're going to copy the belts. I'm going to... Regret my first paste instantly. Actually, I regret it so much that... Yeah, that's quicker. Okay, uh, just drag out to... Ooh. Line up properly, then drag, and then hit the minus button. That way everything joins together neatly, and that'll be all our belts. So, I need you to go down 20 machines. That is 15... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's twenty. Okay, so then I can remove that, 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 and that. And then we just hold down shift to get rid of all those instantly. Uh, we leave the bots hard at work, which are still build faster than I possibly can get things pasted out. Lack of item. Uh, let's go grab more of those and sorters oh uh, sorters are not in that tower they're in that tower okay where were we uh yes we were drag uh and then drag a little bit and drag and drag a little bit like i said the bots can build faster than i can possibly give them commands and it now means the only way I need faster bots or more bots is if I'm using blueprints and this is one of the reasons we're making these black box builds I know the episode is well it, it's going to be a long one but uh it, I sort of want to take you guys through this whole design process so you can be aware of just how much of a nightmare some of these builds are okay do I think I can cut off at least one tile worth of spaghetti here you bet Am I going to? Probably not. Um, okay, so with all that done, we're going to max that, min that, max that. We're going to turn on local demand, remote demand. Oh, I should probably add some ships. Uh, local demand, remote demand, local demand, remote demand, uh, local demand, remote supply. Uh, I need to turn that button. button oop that button back on so we can see that everything has no power uh we're gonna need a power pole here to start with no uh there and there uh same uh, nope uh there there can i get you trapped across those okay we're gonna need power here here and here. I mean, need power at the tower, which is obviously that one. Uh, power for these guys. It's going to be a two gap, isn't it? Okay, and here, here. Please, ah, oh, really hitting your power. It's going to be there, and then it's going to be there, maybe. Yep, okay. And then there, and then there, right? Okay, so select all that. Minus, minus, minus. Paste. Uh, so it was there, and then there, and then there. And then there. Alright. Let the bots put down the last of the power poles. And then add the final power pole right here to bridge the network. And auto save. 
and then hang up whilst we just wait to clean up our mess. Can't leave this lying around, otherwise it would get forgotten. Uh, remove that, cool. Grab uh, some more of this. And the important questions are, yes, things are being made. Okay, so we have a full belt coming out. It's being split in two, which is perfect. We have our nanotubes and plastic out the wazoo. We aren't even going to look at the ratios for that because it really doesn't matter. Uh, because we have multiple, multiple tiny amounts of belts coming out and feeding the whole build. Uh, at the far end, ooh, you guys got yellow dots. Uh, because you're waiting on crystals to get here. Yeah, crystals are going to be the slowest part to get up and running. Uh, we're also going to want to trim that, 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 and that. Uh, whatever's in my inventory going. Ooh. Alright, so it's just a matter of the crystals getting going. The crystals... <sighs> Helps if I had the right recipe. Copy. Paste. Um, no. I boo-boo the sorters. Yes. Oh. That's a bit of belt as well. Uh, this is why we turn it all on together. Okay, output, input. And drag those to there. And somehow I may remove the sorters from the last two guys. Okay, so that now looks like a full belt's worth. Uh, we are producing particle broadband very, very quickly, which is two things. Uh, one, it means that... Particle broadband can now get... It already was, but that's besides the point. Get requested in here, which is going to run our assembly machine Mark II's. Because we look at particle broadband, uh, that is the one thing in the world that it goes into. Uh, assembly machine Mark II's and into information matrix. So it definitely means we have information matrix up and running technically. Uh, it's just going to require, you know, me to actually go and do something about building a build for it, which we shall be covering in the next episode, because we went very, very long, but it was a very, very complicated build. Uh, wait till we get to Green Science. Green Science, I think it's going to be a 15 episode saga, but with all that said, uh, this is where I'm going to leave it. Uh, as always, if you want these blueprints, you want these blue black box builds, you shall find them in my Discord server. If you're interested in seeing, uh, the boo-boo that was, uh, the previous episode where I built this whole build wonderfully majestic it was a wonderful build um but I forgot to actually I, I I built it as plastic plastic and fractal silicon and imported nan nanotubes and made the particle broadband and did the whole thing as one complete build and forgot that I didn't have a slot available for swarpers um yeah that'll be going out to supporters in discord in the supporters lounge so you know if, if you want to see a little behind the scenes of a, a wonderful episode that shall never see the light of day, um, go become a supporter, become a YouTube member, become a Patreon member, whatever it is, get access to the Supporters Lounge in Discord, see that wonderful episode where I boo-booed, yes, yes, yes. But with all that said, this is where I'm going to call it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And as always, uh, tell your mum, Jenny, and Chris said, g'day, mate. All right, that's it. We're out. Bye.